The world of business English can be so confusing and filled with words, terms, and phrases that a native speaker commonly uses. But for a non-native speaker, it is all a mystery. In this video, I will share 10 business words that will surprise you. These are really interesting and useful business phrases that you could say every day when you become confident using them. At the beginning, they may seem confusing to you, but I'll do my best to explain each of these common phrases. I'm Grant, and I am a business English confidence coach. I understand that it is really difficult to learn English, but I try to build your confidence using great vocabulary and having fun doing it. I'll use my deep learning vocabulary method to help you. And if you're new to my channel and don't know my deep learning method, here's a link to a video that I did before. Part of my deep learning method is for you to repeat everything that I say many times until you feel comfortable and confident. And then also use the vocabulary word in your own sentence. I want to challenge you to make your own sentence with each word in this video. And for bonus points, please share your example sentences in the comments. I'm sure there'll be a great prize waiting for you. <laughs> Let's jump right in with 10 useful business English terms that most of you will never guess from their words. Pipeline. Pipeline is a word you probably know from this image. But in business, this is what it means. The stages or steps in a process, especially in sales or project development. Here are some example sentences. Our new product is in the pipeline and will be launched next month. We have several deals in the sales pipeline it should close soon. Now, can you make your own sentence using pipeline? I want you to try. Ballpark figure. This is a commonly used phrase, and I think very helpful in business. The phrase comes from a baseball stadium, which is often called a ballpark. And the phrase came from people guessing how many fans came to the ballpark to watch the baseball game. It means an approximate or general or rough estimate. Here are some example sentences. Can you give me a ballpark figure for the cost of this project? We need a ballpark figure to plan our budget for next year. This is a phrase that all of us can use every week, maybe every day, depending on what you do. So can you make your own sentence using ballpark figure? Bandwidth. This is a difficult one for most people to pronounce. And I think about the word band and then width. Width is how wide something is. The D is really soft in the pronunciation of width. So it's like width with a soft D in there. So width. This word came from radio frequencies a long time ago, like when I was young, about 100 years ago. And now it has become commonly used with the internet, relating to broadband and fiber optics, like, like this image. It means the capacity or ability to handle tasks or workload. Here are some example sentences. I don't have the bandwidth to take on another project right now. Our team needs more bandwidth to meet the deadline. <laughs> Maybe some of these might resonate with you. <laughs> I have a feeling that you can relate to this word and <laughs> And these example sentences. How can you use bandwidth in your own sentence? 
bootstrapping. <laughs> Everyone knows what a boot is. And uh, then uh, here's an image of a strap for those of you that don't know what a strap is. Straps come in many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> but bootstrapping is something that every founder and entrepreneur knows very well. It means starting and growing a business with minimal financial resources. Here are some example sentences. She started her company by bootstrapping with her personal savings. Bootstrapping a business requires a lot of hard work and dedication. Maybe you know a founder or an entrepreneur, or maybe you are a founder or entrepreneur, and you know the idea of starting a business with very little money. How can you use bootstrapping in your example sentence? Elephant in the room. This is a great phrase that does not mean this. <laughs> but it does mean an obvious problem or issue that is being ignored. Here are some example sentences. We need to address the elephant in the room, our declining sales. The elephant in the room during the meeting was the budget cuts. I know we have all had this feeling before, and I want you to try to make your own sentence using elephant in the room. Give it a try. Red tape. Now, most of you will think that red tape is this image, and you're right. But in business, it has a very different meaning and one that you can all relate to. It means excessive bureaucracy or needing to follow long and difficult rules and regulations that slow down processes. Think about trying to get almost anything done with a government. But it can also happen often in companies, too. Here are some example sentences. We need to cut through the red tape to get this project approved. The red tape and government regulations can be very frustrating. I'm sure you have experienced many situations involving red tape. How can you use this useful word in your own sentence? Fast track. Here's a really great business term that you might think of this kind of fast track with racing cars on a racetrack. And that's true. <laughs> that could be a fast track. But of course, that's not what it means. And this is what it means in business. To speed up the progress of something. Here are some example sentences. We need to fast track this project to meet the deadline. The CEO decided to fast track the new product launch. How can you use the term fast track in your own sentence? Out of the loop. <laughs> this is a useful term that it's commonly used when describing communication. You might think it is described in this image. And it is. But. That's not what it means in business. <laughs> Instead, it means not informed or aware of communication, usually happening within a group of people. Here are some example sentences. I feel out of the loop on the latest project updates. Make sure no one is out of the loop before we proceed. Maybe you can relate. <laughs> How can you use out of the loop in your own sentence? Pull the plug. Now, this is a very descriptive term used in business. And from the name, you might think it means this. And it does, but in business, it means to terminate or stop a project or activity. Here are some example sentences. The company decided to pull the plug on the underperforming product. We had to pull the plug on the event due to low registrations. 
You ever been in a situation where you or someone had to pull the plug? Make your own sentence. How can you use pull the plug? Groundbreaking. Now, most non-native speakers don't know this term, and it has two different meanings. The first meaning is when someone is celebrating the beginning of a construction project, and they take photos of special shovels being used to start breaking the ground before building. However, in business, this term has another meaning, and it's a fantastic word. It means innovative or pioneering, introducing new ideas or methods. And here are some example sentences. The new technology is groundbreaking and will change the industry. Her groundbreaking research earned her many awards. Now, how can you use groundbreaking in your own sentence? I hope this was a fun and interesting journey through 10 business words that are really commonly used in America by native speakers. And I know they can be very confusing. And in this case, I think probably very surprising for you as you go through these. But again, follow my deep learning method. Say all of these out loud. Say them with me. Use these words. Make your own sentences. Put your own sentences in the comments. I really look forward to reading them. Have a great day. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.